Oh, man. Listen, man. It always sounds like a quagmire, HB. You got mm -hmm. how many? They said nine, nine people in one house, and they all are stars. They've all had hit records. They've all mm -hmm. been on tours. They all been in entertainment. Some of them are even reality stars. They mastered being in front of the camera and creating drama. But this is a little different, though. These talented singers are coming together now. Their wives, their moms, their entrepreneurs. You know, they, they've all had success. And to me, this is, we talk about this a lot of times, HB. We talk about second chances. When you guys did Real World, again, the reunion series, we talked about second chances and how important mm -hmm. they are. Tonight on BT, 10 p.m. on BT and BET, her BT presents the encore will be showing. And we got two of the guests, uh, two of the people who are in the house, Felicia and Fallon King, are with us right now from Cherish. Welcome to the show. Hey, ladies. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey. 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 Come on, man. Y'all should, you know, if y'all y'all remake it, you want to put a little male tone behind that. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> you say oh, last, you right. <laughs> okay, okay. Let, let me ask y'all this question. Like, um, that was one of my favorite songs, but so was O. That's why I like that song. What, what's the relationship between Sierra's O and Do It? Or is there? There is no relationship between those two songs. I know a lot of people were just like, they sound really familiar. I just, I mean, you know, it was a snap move, and I just think that back then a lot of songs sounded similar to each other. Yeah, especially being from Atlanta. We all yeah. were from Atlanta, so. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was oh, okay. a sound of the time. Yeah. Oh, well, it was, that was a banging time. Was that your house in the Do It video? I always wanted to know that. <laughs> no, that wasn't our house. That was a house that they got for the, the video shoot. Yeah, but it was a real party, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Man, Cherish, man. I love the group Cherish. <laughs> Round of applause. You guys have gone through a lot in your career. So when I saw that, oh, Cherish, you know, they were, which, which, which members, which sisters, you know, was going to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, I was like, this is great because I think you got, I, I'm not sure if I ever felt like you got your just due as a mm. group. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, yeah. do it. Do it, do it took off. You know, your album did really well. Um, mm -hmm. But but it's not, I don't know if it registered with the the public how great you guys actually was doing. What was going on with your group at that time when the album came out? Well, I mean, I want to say that was around, what, 2006? Yeah, 2006. yeah the album dropped. I mean, we, it, like you said, it had great success. We came out with Do It To It and then Under My Unappreciated out of nowhere blew up as well. Um, I mean, we toured. We went on an up close and personal with with Neo and Chris Brown, and you know, we did an international tour. And I mean, it was definitely a different time and a different day, era. A different era because record labels aren't even as prominent as they are as they are now. They had a lot of control, and we were it. and we were right before the boom of like all technology. Mm -hmm. So it basically like one thing about Cherish was like okay, it got lost in the sauce because we was in a transition period mm -hmm. of what used to be the music industry and what is now the music Coming. industry. Mm -hmm. Who who's a mom so, yeah. now? Who's who, who's a mom now? Out of you two? Oh, Farrah and Yosha are moms. Our two sisters. Yeah, the older oh, two. The older two. So Fallon and Felicia, mm -hmm. neither one of you are moms yet. Not no. Yet. Who said not yet? Neither one of us. Both of them. Neither one of us. Okay. okay. <laughs> but I still want to ask. I still. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Heather. How y'all doing? I still Hi. wanted to ask. Hey, I, I wanted to ask though, because Sway brought up Real World and me going back to do the homecoming and the reunion, and it was different. Like when we first did Real World, this was back in 1992. It had never happened before. You know, I'm 20. I'm moving into this house. I'm about to have fun and turn up. Fast forward almost 30 years later, they bring us back to come and move into the same house. Now I'm a whole grown woman. Like, I want right. to ask y'all, even if you're not mothers, moving into a house with people, living with, like, I know you can't give away the season, but what was that like for y'all mentally? Ooh, we we hated the concept <laughs> of all of us living under one roof. I'm not going to lie. I right. mean, for, it was 30 days. So I think me and Fallon. Oh my gosh! Damn. Again, have y'all seen the show? I don't think that, have y'all seen it yet? I have. Uh, yeah, I got okay. it. Okay, yeah. because yeah. I mean, it's it was a different experiment because mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. are we are well, me and Fallon felt like we are we were going like with our peers into a house of people that 
knew what the music industry was like. They've been through, you know, similar, have similar stories. We all respect one another. Yes. And it was just, we were completely blindsided. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I think that we thought, um, I mean, it's, it's a reality show. So, of course, they want all of the drama. However, without giving a lot away, you're going to have, you're going to see some moments to where it's powerful. We have moments to where we, you know, we share tears and, you know, we form sisterhood, and there's a lot of great moments on the show as well, including drama. <laughs> you but, can't escape the drama. But, yeah, I haven't lived with anybody in I don't know how many decades. Same. I mean, right. I married <laughs> <laughs> She said decades. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious about when you guys first came into the house, and y'all look so good, by the way, too. Let me just mention that past and present versions Thank of y'all you. both look good. I look good. <laughs> Girl, you. The, the ageism that just kicked through the front door. <laughs> that was the first so, thing I noticed. And I was like, y'all, come on now. Talk to me about, okay. <laughs> yes, talk to me about age yeah. and how y'all feel this impact success. Well, let's talk about that because, yeah. you know, it's so funny. I hear the word ages all the time. And so when Ms. Allen first walked into the house, like we were completely open-minded with everything. And before, before I even get into that, let me say something. Auntie is a state of mind, okay? Shamari is 42 years old. I want to say her and Irish are literally the same age. She wasn't, it wasn't the, the, the age, so to speak. It was the energy. It was the energy that they were giving off because we had the issue with Keely when we first came into the house. Mm -hmm. And they immediately didn't ask no questions. It was very, it was very much the, the, the Diddy effect. You know, they didn't ask any questions. It's like, okay, that's fine. Let's do it. Me and Fallon, we're not those kind of people. We're going to ask questions. We want to know. Well, why you're here and what we're getting ourselves into. So I think that they just didn't like that we were asking questions, so they came at us first. And then, you know, all uh, hell broke loose. <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, that. I mean, seriously. Which, yeah? you which one that, of y'all is Scorpio? They, <laughs> we're both Geminis, which is even crazier. Oh, my so, God. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, wow. And, and we're twins. So that oh. makes it a little, it's not our fault, y'all. It's not right. our fault. <laughs> but the blessing y'all is, y'all. know how they edit this mess. Y'all know how they can just make things look the way that they just weren't. It was a lot of different things going on. Y'all yeah. made it easy for them to edit, though, a little bit. You got to admit that. You, you, you know what? You're not wrong. That's true. That's true. One thing about me and Felicia is that we do have, like, we, we do talk a lot. It, it, it is something that we do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did y'all did y'all make any music? We made a lot of music, but so you gotta keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what about uh, Aubrey O'Day? Is probably one of the most seasoned reality faces that we've seen in in recent years. What was the dynamic like with her? And could you watch her maneuvering and figure out? Okay, it's a science to reality TV. Um, she was definitely very smart. Uh, how she came on the show. I think that that's one thing I did respect about Aubrey is that because she knew what she was getting herself into, she had an upper hand to want to portray herself the way she wanted to. Yeah. And, you know, the rest of us... I feel like Shamari did, too, because she was on Real Housewives. And yeah. We've never done reality before. Exactly. So we came in there kind of, you know, being ourselves, but right. at the same time really trying to be about our business and about the music. Because one thing about Felicia and I is, like, we've, we've, we 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 behind the scenes. We're songwriters. Yeah. So we, mm. we what we do we take it very seriously, and we I guess we didn't come into the house thinking, oh, okay, well this is gonna be um, this sort of kumbaya moment. It was more so like, okay, let's well, get what, down. Let's it. get down to the music. What are we gonna do? You know? Right. Mm -hmm. Now that you guys have done this show, if there was a second season, would y'all jump on it? Mm. We don't know. <laughs> uh, I think that it would have to be. <laughs> it would have to make sense for us. If I'm being, if I'm being honest, it would have know. to make sense. Mm. Mm. <laughs> How do you define mm? mm. <laughs> I think mm means you know what? Probably not, but maybe. Right, right, okay. right, right. We got Felicia and Fallon King from Cherish on the line. And tonight, citizens, make sure you watch BET Presents the Encore. It's on BET and BET, BET Her at 10 p.m. Eastern. Prissy on the line from Georgia. Grand Rise What's up, Prissy. Prissy? Hey, Prince. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Hey. 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 Fallon and Felicia, I love you guys. Y'all off the motherfucking chain. When y'all told <laughs> those two girl, Misha and Isha, they couldn't sing? I like to <laughs> Oh, my God. I like to die. 
and Fallon, you Fallon or Felicia, I don't know, but you call Keita a bitch. I said, get her. Oh I my God. <laughs> okay, and I totally apologize for that. But I can't believe yeah, it. that moment. Oh, you you said it, you said it right because she thought she was controlling, and you y'all off the chain. Oh, I love y'all. <laughs> do, 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 do it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank right. you. But Prince, you a citizen. You already know it, huh? A sway in the morning. A lot of bitches being called out, huh? Man. A lot of bitches. Who said bitch? Who was it, Felicia? Okay. It was not in that context. If you watch the show, you <laughs> everybody agreed with me at the moment, but I did apologize to Keely afterward. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Hey, listen, when we open up and, and we go all see each other in person, we love to have y'all in the studio. I'm a big fan. Of, I was a big fan of yours, and I continue to be a big fan of the music you make. Congratulations on the songs that you've written, yes, off rather a, a, a Justin Bieber song, a Chris Brown song, all it. You know, it. For, Felicia. You. Felicia, you know I was on Empire, Felicia. Oh my hey. God! Yeah, you were. Come on, man. Yeah. You know, you didn't write me a song though. You could have wrote me something. <laughs> I could have. I'm like, we missed that one. Yeah, okay, next time, though. But congratulations. Have fun with it. Do a lot of public appearances. Get your bag, and let's hear some new music. Okay? Thank you. All all right, thank you, guys. Give it up for Cherish, ladies and gentlemen. That's great. Make sure you watch it, BET Encore. Okay, BET Presents Encore on BET and BET Her.